Hello, we've done a load experiment with varying angles. This is Team 3 of Kyunghee University's Department of Architectural Engineering, Design of Tall and Special Structures class. The contents are plan, vertical load experiment, lateral load experiment. This video is model plan. Do you know what a diagrid is? As the name suggests, it is a diamond-shaped grid. This is a super large diagonal brace structure that is effective under vertical load and lateral load, and has aesthetic properties. Diagrid's angular change resists to the vertical load of the building through the pressure intensity experiment. We built one base 40 story model and three models for each angle. The experimental angles were assumed to be 37 degrees, 62 degrees, and 82 degrees. Standard model sketch up drawing, 158, 158, 403 millimeters. Acrylic 3T was used for beam thickness. This is a drawing that combines a diagrid member angle of 37 degrees to the base model. Acrylic 5T was used as a diagrid member and column material. 16.8 by 40.3. The member angle is also a 62 degree sketch up drawing. The diagrid member material is the same as the previous 37 degree member material. Finally, the member angle is 82 degrees drawing. The diagrid member material is the same as the previous one. Each side was made by laser cutting. The basic model was made of 3T, and the diagrid model was made of 5T acrylic plate. The process of bonding between the base plate and the diamond plate. The adhesive process was temporarily fixed by using tape and then injected an acrylic bond with a syringe. Bond the four plates. To prevent breakage at joints, glue gun is used for reinforcement. For a fair experiment, we have unified the amount of glue that we use in all models. Diagrid model finished bonding. The top and bottom wooden plates are joined to distribute the vertical load evenly across the members. And that's what we plan to do. The next video is a vertical load experiment. Thank you for watching.